everyone, so today I'm going to do another Ch Ch Get Ready With Me because I really wanted to use this palette again. I mentioned in one of my other little Ch Ch Get Ready With Me videos that I really loved the shade Tinsel. It's so beautiful. It's like a green shimmery metallic color. So I really, really, really want to wear that and I feel like wearing like maybe golds and yellows. I was inspired by this account once again. Like this look here and also this look here. Um, but obviously I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm using different colors, but I really liked, I don't know, the technique. So I'm just going to dive in and I don't even know. I don't even know. Maybe I'll do the eye makeup first. So before I start my eye makeup, I'm just going to take some moisturizer and moisturize my skin. This one here is the Pixi Glow Shin Deju. It's really good stuff. It's just like a really glowy, thick moisturizer, but it sinks in really easy. I'm also just going to put some of this Cover FX Custom Infusion Drops in E Chamomile, the calming one. I haven't used this in a while. I've like completely broken the little squishy. I don't know what happened. It was in my makeup bag, I think, and I don't even know. I was obsessed with this stuff and I kind of forgot about it. It's so good. It's so lightweight and it just feels so good on the skin and it makes your makeup go on so smooth on top. So doing it now, just like give it a chance to soak in. And then next, I'm just going to conceal around my eye area. I am pretty pale at the moment. I'm going to use the shade Vanilla Light 2, the NARS Self Matte Complete Concealer. I love this stuff so much. I'm just going to use a petal face brush. Just over the entire eye area to create a nice even base for my brows and eye makeup. I feel really tired today by the way, so if I'm like, I don't know, just really boring, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's one of those days, like it's Monday morning, okay? I woke up and I was just like, mm, I'm not ready for this. Okay, next up I'm just going to take a tiny bit of powder. I was use this one because it's right here. This is the Makeup Revolution little contour kit. I'm just going to use a tapered face brush and that second colour just to set the concealer in place. And then I'm going to put my base on top of it. I know it seems very extra, but it's just what works for me. If you personally don't really have like discoloration, you could probably just put on an eye primer and you'll be fine. And now I'm going to use my Benefit Cabral and a groomer brush, brow groomer brush. And I'm just going to quickly fill in my eyebrows. And then I'm going to use my Brow Tamer by Urban Decay. Let's try this. This is the Smashbox Lid Primer in white. So obviously I usually normally use the white, I mean light color, not the white. I just feel like trying this today. I'm just going to use a round eye brush to blend. This would actually be perfect for people that are very pale as well because it's not like stark white, it's more of just like a super pale white colour. Do you see what I mean? Like it's not like white white. I suppose you could layer it up though. Now let's go into our Metal Matte palette and I'm going to use, oh god I don't know, suede first. This colour just here, that's the same colour I used in the other tutorial. And this is a fluffy blender brush. These eyeshadows are so good, they're so easy to blend as well. If you notice me like blending out hair, it's because I'm going to use concealer later to clean everything, so it doesn't matter. And then I'm going to take a tulip crease brush and I'm going to take the shade Feather, which is this like really pale yellow colour. I'm going to kind of put that right on top. And then with that same brush, I'm going to take the really warm brown colour from my palette. This is by BH Cosmetics. It's the Shanexo palette. Some of you guys have been seeing it in your local Ulta stores as well, which is so exciting. I'm going to put that kind of in the deepest part of the crease. I'm just going to place it with this brush and then go back in with my fluffy blender that I used for that first colour and just kind of buff. Now I'm just mixing the yellow colour I used with the terracotta colour. I'm just adding a little more into that crease to deepen it up. I love this brush, it's so good for like buffing out colour and placing colour as well. You could also just use that colour if you wanted. In fact, I'm going to use a little bit of it in there too. Now I'm going to take a pencil brush and, oh god, I don't know, I think this shade here, which is called Moss. I'm going to put this on my outer V. Oh, it's such a nice green colour. I'm going to use my little tulip crease and blend this just into the crease. I might actually need to take some actual green product on my brush to use to blend it. I'm going to take another one and take 
a really dark brown. I might take oak, that one just there, and I'm going to use that just here in the crease to try and blend. Yeah, that looks better. I'm just going to take my primer again and just kind of clean up right on that inner part of my eye on the lid. And now I'm going to take the shade Tinsel, this one just here. So excited for this and I'm going to kind of, oops, put that on the eyelid most of the way. I'm going to use like bright gold on my inner corner. Don't know how it's going to look, but we're going to do it. That colour, that's so pigmented. Considering the shimmer in these eyeshadows, like seriously look at my face, there's like no fallout, almost. I'm just going back into moss again, blending these two colours. I'm going to go into the shade here, which is a bit darker, Stone, with my pencil brush, and I'm just going to put that right on the outer V. Darkest, most outer point. Obviously, all of this will be cleaned up. And then right on the inner corner, I'm going to take this. I don't know how this is going to look. Now I'm going to take, again, that dark terracotta kind of colour, just on my little um, creased tulip brush. And I'm going to go quite far down because I can conceal it up a little, but I want it to be quite dramatic. And then I'm taking the colour Oak, which is that darker, more neutral brown, just on the outer edge. And then I'm taking the colour Feather, which is that pale yellow matte colour, and just kind of putting that right next to that gold. Okay, so I'm using one of these Whispers makeup wipes. I'm just going to get that outer edge nice and sharp. And now I'm going to do my base. So first I'm going to prime. My skin's already feeling really nice and hydrated, obviously, because I moisturized and used that oil before. So now I'm just going to use this Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer. It's like a smoothing whoop, primer. I kind of target it where I get any sign of pores or uneven skin texture and then just spread the extra around the rest of my face. Makes your skin feel so soft. My face is so sore today. The last like three nights I've had really bad sleeps because I just kept waking myself up from my grinding, which is like extreme. I don't know what's wrong. And my face feels really puffed again. Like it's real sore in here. It actually hurts and my gums hurt, which will be a mixture of grinding and my Invisalign which sucks. Next up, I'm going to use the Cojan Doe High Definition Makeup Moisture Foundation. This is in the shade 112 because I'm very pale at the moment. I feel like all of my tan just like randomly like disappeared over the last week. It just faded out completely. So now I have my winter skin. So I like to do a little squiggle. And then I am going to use my Flawless Finish Sponge by EXO Beauty to apply this, or like to blend it out I should say. The finish of this is so beautiful and it's so moisturizing as well. And now for under my eyes and also I've got this like little scar just here. I'm going to use the same concealer I used earlier, the NARS one. And around my nose. And then of course just right under my eyes. Right up under my eye, I'm just going to use an angled eye brush. Just because I need a little bit more precision since I've already got my eyeshadow on. The shape of this looks a little bit funny, but I'll fix it when I do my um, liquid eyeliner. Because I'm going to do liquid eyeliner today. I'm just going to use a little bit of my Benefit Pore Professional Pore Minimizing Makeup. Because this makes my skin look photoshopped. So I just like to do a few drops. This is shade 1. I really like it over my cheeks because it like hides all your skin texture for your highlighter to sit on top of. Now just before I set my concealer in place and set my foundation, I want to use a cream bronzer. I've got this one here. It's called the Venice Beach Bronze Smashbox. I haven't used it before, but I'm going to use some just on my cheeks. I'm going to just drew that all in my hair. See how it's just like warming up my face a little? And it looks quite natural, but this one has like a kind of reflect to it. It's so pretty. I was going to use this, which is my ultimate favorite, Do The Hula, the Benefit. But I haven't tried this one before. Like, I've only swatched it. So, I thought I'd give it a go. Under my eyes, I'm using my current fave with my tapered face brush. Petal Brightening Powder by Kat Von D. In the friggin' worst packaging ever, I swear. But it's so good. 
They just need to work on the packaging. This brush is so soft. It's good for powder and liquids and creams. I'm going to use a powder brush and I'm going to use my Dream Matte Powder in the shade Medium Beige 2.5. I'm going to put on a crap ton of highlighters today so I don't mind my face looking matte. I think we may have sold out of these but I may bring them back one more time because you guys just have loved them. Now for bronzer, I'm like obsessed with this at the moment, the Chi Chi Light to Medium Bronzer. I've used this a few times since I used it the first time in a video, slash like twice, but anyway. I really like it okay. I'm gonna use the pale color and I'm going to use a domed fiber brush. I'm gonna go over the top of where I put that cream and kind of down onto my jawline. This brush puts on powders so flawlessly and liquid, like if you wanna do foundation, it's very flawless. And then I'm going to go back in with that Makeup Revolution palette, wherever I put it. Here it is. And I'm going to contour with this, so I'll use this shade here probably. And I'll use a bronzer brush, so I haven't used this in a while. I like to use it on its side, so I take the product on the side of the brush. Instead of like going, eh, go sideways. And then just go sideways. Just like that. Someone recommended to me... And this was such a good idea, you guys, that I should do a series of makeup tutorials based on like cocktails or something. I thought that was so cool. So if you want to see me do something like that, then let me know. And that means I'll definitely do like a whole lot of, you know, colorful looks as well, because so many cocktails are like quite colorful. A crease blender, this is the vegan one. I'm gonna take that really dark color, just a little bit on the tip of the brush. I'm just gonna deepen up that crease a little. Okay, I'm going to finish off my eye makeup now and then go back <clears throat> to the face. Where's my voice going? Okay, I want to do some eyeliner. I don't know what kind. I've always wanted to use this, but I feel like that's inappropriate. <laughs> Got a yellow one by Colourpop. Is that going to be crazy? Let's just go. This shade is called Punch. And then I'm going back in with that super dark shade from the Makeup Revolution palette and a winged liner brush. I'm just going to line right underneath my waterline. I have this Elizabeth Arden green eyeliner, but I'm thinking maybe I should just do black because otherwise it might be too intense. I don't know. This, by the way, is the Elizabeth Arden Beautiful Color Bold 24 Hour Liquid Eyeliner. <laughs> and it's in the, the shade Mystic Green 05. I'm just going to do like that much for now. And then on top, I'm going to use the Matte Liquid Liner by NYX. Just like that, then I'll join the green up at the front again. I really like this makeup. I think it's really cool. I love it when my makeup turns out well. <gasps> it's the best feeling. I am reusing some EXO Beauty lashes today. These are from the Party Stack. But first, mascara. This one here is Lash Sensational by Maybelline. For highlight today, I will be using the Backlight, no, Black Light Highlight Palette. I think I've been calling that the wrong thing ever since I got it by Patch Cosmetics. I'm going to use the shade Electra, this yellow one. But it comes off quite kind of golden champagne almost. So don't worry, it's not scary. I'm using an eyeshadow brush. I'm going to put that on my brow bone. A little right on the inner corner. And then I just realized I've got freaking mascara everywhere. So I'm just going to use a cotton bud and flick that off and then to put this on my cheekbones i'm just going to use a small face brush see because of that like benefit product on my cheeks i can go in with a really intense highlighter and it doesn't accentuate my hairs and pores and stuff as much because as i've said a million times like I don't know, sometimes these really intense ones I don't like because it makes my skin look really, really bad. Look how pretty that highlighter is. It's just got a slight tint of yellow and then it's kind of like champagne and gold at the same time. So if you're worried about this palette being unwearable, it's totally not. Like, it's got that one which I use, which as you can see is totally wearable. And then this one underneath, strobe, it's just like white. Like, if you're pale, you will die over this. Like, look at that. It's almost silver. It's so pretty. And then this one here, laser. 
is actually pretty wearable as well. It's got a little bit of a green kickback to it, but it's so pretty. I low-key wish I wore that one today. And then on point, super cool. Like I mentioned that on like medium skin tones and darker skin tones, or if you're light skinned, this will look super cool and just like really vibrant on your cheekbones. Finishing off this look with blush and lip liner. L lip color, not lip liner. I'm gonna use one of these blushes from the Viva La Diva Soft Pinks palette. Loving this as well. I'm gonna use that paler, brighter pink. I'm going to use this brush again. And then lip color, everything in my body is telling me to do morph. I've been doing morph so much lately. I might actually do like a beige kind of like grayish color. This is Stark Naked by Urban Decay to start lip liner. Which needs a sharpen. Did you hear that? I made a really weird noise with my mouth just then. I hate weird mouth noises. They gross me out. Like when I do lip swatch videos, I have to edit out like all the swishy noises I make with my mouth. It's so gross. I've actually decided on this one. This is Dose of Colors Stone. It's kind of like a mauve nude muted color. Quite like that. And then I'm going to finish off with Dewy Finish Spray, my NYX. And here is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Again write down some like cocktails down below and we'll see if we can start doing a few like cocktail inspired makeup tutorials here and there. I feel like that's a really cute idea so thank you to the person that recommended that. I'm really really happy with this makeup look. I think it's really pretty. It's like a wearable color and it kind of reminds me of Brazil. Hello to all of the Brazilian Shangland members out there. Have an amazing day and I will talk to you again really soon. Bye.